Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to this squad builder with me, Boy FIFA 1 HD, where we're going to be putting together an Unreal Bundesliga team that costs around 450k using some really special cards that play so well together. But before we get into the video, it would mean a great deal to me if you do enjoy the video please leave a like, it really does help out the channel. And if you are new to the channel, there's loads of great FIFA 17 content. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you do have any questions on any of the players, the team in general, or FIFA 17, leave all of that in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer each and every one of you as well as I can. So we're going to kick off in goal with a very special card, the first of many, which is... Team of the group stage, Farman. This guy is so tall. He's six foot five, yet he's so agile. He moves like a cat in that goal. He is brilliant. Really, really good. He's so tall, like I said, so he fills the goal well. He's so good when he comes out to close you down. It's just so hard to get around him. And he made saves that made me think, yes, I've spent my money well here. So many goalkeepers like that are quite cheap seem to perform so well that you almost think, should I spend any money on a really good goalkeeping card? And some of them, to be honest, I don't notice much of a difference. It's nice to have the higher rating, but you don't know the difference. Whereas this guy has pulled off some unbelievable saves where I've thought they've scored. You know, I'd already given up hope and this guy has dug me out, which is exactly why you pay top dollar for him. Uh, right back, uh, a slightly cheaper option, we have Brzezinski. Really solid, good going forward, very attacking fullback. Obviously, has that high medium uh, sort of work rate where he will get forward quite a lot. Um, lovely pace, really good pace there, 86. Some nice sort of, you know, well-rounded stats there, as you can see. Not terrible shooting, decent passing, dribbling, defending, and physicality are all quite good there as well. But he is mainly in, in the team for the pace, I must admit. At centre-back now, we'll put both of them in. And we have a combination of Socrates and we have Top Rack. So I'll put them both in there. So we'll start off with Socrates. This guy is unbelievable. Both of them are, in fairness. They're both very similar. 84 rated and very, very good for the money. Uh, really cheap. His price will go up a little bit in the same way as Top Rack uh, when there are squad, squad builder challenges because they're quite cheap. Uh, you know, people will start discarding them and using those in, in there, so the price does go up a little bit. But you should be able to pick them up for a couple of K each, which is unreal. And they've got such great pace, especially Socrates. They're a 78, 85 defending is unreal on a normal card, especially when you add in 83 physicality. He is an absolute beast, so mobile, so agile but also so good at being in the right place at the right time to make some incredible challenges, which is very similar to Top Rack, as you can see there. A uh, little bit slower there at 76, but slightly better defending there at 86, which is really, really good. Not as uh, physical as Socrates uh, at 75, but that is very respectable and very, very good indeed. Both of them are good in the air. They make great tackles uh, and are just really solid defenders that actually don't cost very much. I was thinking about maybe going for Naldo uh, over one of these guys, but they both perform just as good, and they're so cheap, so I don't know why anyone would want uh, any other pairing at the back, unless maybe you could afford someone very, very expensive like Boateng. A left back, we have a very similar card to uh, Brzezinski, and that is Baba. Similar pace there, 86, uh, and similar stats. You know, really well-rounded card. I like that for my fullbacks because I like them to attack and I like them to be confident uh, and comfortable on the ball. And that is exactly what Barbar is. He can pass it. He can dribble with it. He's athletic. He's got that physicality to his game and decent defending too. So overall, a very, very good player indeed. At centre mid, we have three amazing cards to put in. The first of which is Thiago. The second is Keita. And the last but no means least is Sanchez. So we'll start off with Thiago. This card made the list, made my team, because he is absolutely incredible with the ball. And I wanted someone who could feed that front three, a little bit of magic in the team. You know, the other two are quite industrious. You know, they're good going forward, don't get me wrong. But this guy is, when you need to unlock a defense, 
this is who you give the ball to. And I needed that in the team, I felt. And Thiago delivered. His assist ratio is unreal. He plays such great and, and really pinpoint passes every single time. He's confident and comfortable on the ball, no matter how many players are around him, because he's got such incredible dribbling that he can take the ball in tight spots and he just worms and wiggles his way out with absolute ease. He's so good with that dribbling there at 91. It is absolutely insane. His pace is okay there at 74. He actually feels a little bit quicker in all honesty. His shooting is spot on, especially on free kicks as well. And like I said, his passing is just so, so accurate and just makes him a very, very good player to use. We move on now to Keita, someone who I've covered before in uh, in some other videos. This card I love. It's like an old Yaya Toure sort of card where everything is good. And he's really cheap. This Inform card will only cost you about sort of between 15 and, and 20 odd K, which I think is incredible value for someone who you can play at Cam, Centre Mid, CDM, and you are going to get an absolute powerhouse all the way through the team. You know, so it doesn't matter where he finds himself on the pitch. I love cards like that in the midfield, especially when you're playing a midfield three. He's a really vital player to the team. Lovely pace, good, decent shooting and passing. But where he really comes into his own is how confident he is on the ball and also how good he is at winning the ball back for the team. Very similar to Renato Sanchez. I mean, this guy is an informed card without being an informed card, really, because those stats are amazing. Again, lovely pace. Good with his shooting, he's very physical, which I love. He really is hard to knock off the ball, and he's so good at winning it back for the team. Again, this midfield three all can use the ball well. They, uh, you know, in Thiago, going back to Thiago, he's defending for a player that's so silky and, and stuff. He's actually quite good there at 61. That's not too shabby at all, and 66 physicality. But obviously, they don't quite compare to Cater and uh, and Sanchez. Sanchez, very, very good player indeed. Most of you will have probably already used him and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. At right forward, we have one of the most outstanding players in the team, which is Dembele. This card, I could not stress to you how good it is. I mean, it looks good from the start. You know, you'll look at the stats and it looks good, but it performs even better. It really does. It feels like a high sort of 88 rated card because he makes such amazing runs his finishing is on point he is just an overall fantastic player to use great pace lovely dribbling really good passing great shooting there is not much more you could ask for and his physicality overall isn't too bad either you know, very hard to knock off the ball he, he worms his way through very very easily and like I said he, he just seems to make really good runs and when you've got players in the midfield like I have who can all pass the ball that is very very good indeed overall I love Jusen Dembele he always sort of popped up in good goal scoring areas he made great runs for the team and overall is a great player to use I must admit at striker we have uh, maybe an interesting choice to some uh, and we have Movember Han. Now, what I like about this guy, he's obviously got the pace. 85 pace is very, very nice on a striker. But he also has the physicality. And when you've got a midfield, maybe not Thiago so much, but you've got, you know, Sanchez, Keita, and you've got Hahn. Uh, you've got such great phys physicality there. It's really, really good. And and he just he's able to nick the ball. He, he's good in the air. He's a bit of a bulldozer-like striker that's very, very fast. And when he does get an opportunity, 78 overall on his shooting is really nice. He finishes 9 times out of 10, scored me an awful lot of goals, as you will see in these clips. He is lethal and he makes great runs, gets in behind all day long and gets fed by all these amazing players in the team. So for what is a very, very cheap Movember card, he is insane and I highly recommend you use him. So completing the team at left forward, we have Marco Royce. I was lucky enough to sort of get him with a couple of loan packs. So I've had a lot of uh, contracts on this guy and he has delivered every single time I've played him. So, so good going forward. Obviously the pace there at 90 is incredible. 85 shooting is to die for. 84 passing and 86 dribbling are also really, really good stats. 
meaning that he is so good with the ball, he makes great runs and he can finish all day long. He is bound to score you an awful lot of goals and he is bound to create an awful lot too, overall making him a very, very good player to use that is incredibly fun and effective. So overall, the team is brilliant. Like I said, it costs about 450k at the moment. These players are delightful. They work well together. I highly suggest you go out and put this team together or at least try some of the players because some are cheap, some are really expensive, but overall they are all very, very good players individually and they all combine to make a really solid and very, very effective team. So we'll just have a look at player instructions on these guys. There are a few that I've used. Uh, stay central and get in behind on Hahn. We've got... Just getting behind on both Dembele and Royce, as you can see. Only uh, one in the midfield has anything on, which is stay back while attacking on uh, Cater, because I like him to be that focal point for the defensive team. And on the fullbacks, I have stay back while attacking, because they both have high uh, attacking work rates, and they seem to ignore me anyway and get forward a lot. So this just helps a little bit in that respect. And we look at the custom tactics now, and as you can see, Really speedy build-up play, passing there right bang in the middle, organised positioning, passing there at 70, crossing 35, I like it tight and narrow, I like all those attacking players to be in the middle of the pitch where they can score. Shooting there at 80, when you've got that sort of front line you need to be shooting as much as possible. Positioning organised, pressure 70, we've got a bit of pace in that back line so we can afford to be pressuring. Uh, aggression there at 70 as well, team with 50 and defensive line is cover of course. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys, remember please hit that like button if you did. Comment down below if you think I could have improved anything or if you've used any of these players and you've liked them too. I love reading what you guys think and peace!